fights and social media. Take a look at this altercation between two students at East Nashville Magnet High School. Yeah, brawls at schools aren't a new thing, but students posting video of fights on social media is growing. News Channel 5's Brandon Marshall spoke with a Metro School administrator about how he hopes to curb this trend. Yeah, guys, the Department of Education says there were 3,600 student assaults in the state of Tennessee last year, and it's unclear exactly how many of those assaults were posted on social media like this one at Hillsborough High. But Dr. Tony Major with Metro Public School says he wants both the assaults and postings to stop. This fight between students at Hillsborough High School has been watched nearly 800 times on the social media app Instagram. The latest shared fight happened between two students at East Nashville Magnet High. We don't have a program that says this is how you break up a fight. Here in this situation, you see one student approaching the administrator with another. Tony Majors with Metro School says one way to de-escalate situations turning physical is for students and teachers to be aware of their surroundings. Metro schools have implemented a program called VITAL, where teachers and staff look at violence intervention techniques. Some parents are concerned about how this administrator broke up a fight between students, saying he tackled one student. The person that was the aggressor was on the ground. The administrator did cover that person, holding them so they could not continue to fight, and then waited for additional staff to come in and provide assistance. Major says further help would come from school resource officers, which each middle and high school has. But he wants students to step in, too. We need for our students to be very forthcoming about what's, what's the reality of their life, what are the issues that are impacting them? He would rather have students pull each other apart than pull out their phones. It's not only about training teachers, it's also about educating and empowering our youth to be a positive change agent in our schools, but also empowering our parents to help set that standard of this is the appropriate behavior in school and this is not. Being proactive so fights like these don't end up on social media. Now, it's unclear how the fights you just saw were handled, but Majors also talked about that if a student is found guilty of assaulting a teacher, they could face expulsion from a school for about a year. In Nashville tonight, Brandon Marshall, News Channel 5.